I'm Dr. Sridhar Kalyanasandaram. Welcome to my channel. We have the series for uh, NICU parents and in this video I'll be explaining some of the common disease conditions that we may encounter in the premature babies. Obviously uh, we cannot explain all the disease conditions and don't be scared your baby will not have all of them but uh, just to name a few terminologies so we may uh, tell you that the baby has uh, surfactant deficiency so what is surfactant surfactant is a chemical which is produced in the lungs uh, it makes the surface tension between the air and the liquid in the lungs uh, reduced so the alveolus doesn't collapse if the premature baby has come early obviously the surfactant is not produced adequately and uh, the mother may have diabetes uh, which may increase the risk of this happening many mothers receive antenatal steroids the steroid injections in the thigh of the mother uh, in the buttock of the mother to help with the maturity of the lung uh, if you happen to deliver suddenly you may not have time your doctor may not have had time to prescribe otherwise at least you would have got one dose um, if your baby was coming out quite early so this surfactant may be deficient in the premature baby is the more premature the baby the lower the level of surfactant so this causes a lung disease called respiratory distress syndrome and uh, here the baby is working hard because the lung has become stiff we help the baby by giving pressure through the nose it's called continuous positive airway pressure or CPAP and we have other forms of support high flow nasal cannula or non-invasive positive pressure uh, NIV any of these which are given through the nose they have a similar effect in that they support the baby's lungs from closing they maintain the ability of the baby to breathe it also helps to maintain the surfactant that's already there in the baby however if the baby is needing a very high level of oxygen and the breathing is worsening or if the baby appears to be worsening right from the initial stage the risk is very high we decide to give this medicine as a replacement dose this is called surfactant replacement therapy so this is usually given into the airway we have to put either a catheter or the endotracheal tube which is the same tube which connects your baby's airway to the ventilator and once the tube is in place we push this medicine which is a liquid uh, it's usually a white liquid uh, and it has a certain dose of the surfactant when we give it in the appropriate way it goes to both the lungs and it helps reduce the support that your baby is needing baby will still continue to need the support that we are giving but possibly at a lower level and this helps the baby to recover faster it's an expensive medicine and uh, we don't want to use any technique which is invasive so here we are putting a tube in the airway if baby is already having a tube in the airway for uh, ventilation because the baby was not coping otherwise we would be giving it earlier if the baby was not needing it we wait to see if the baby needs a certain level of oxygen if the blood gases that we do suggest a high level of disease and then we give the surfactant some babies need more than one dose of the surfactant and uh, this product that we use there are two common origins one is uh, from bovine origin which is like a calf lung extract and the other one is of a pig origin even if we are in middle east countries we can use uh, one from the porcine origin because it's not ingested and there are religious fatwas which have been issued uh, allowing its use of course we may discuss this with you if needed but as it's an emergency situation and there are uh, licensing and fatwa procedures done we may not discuss this with you as well uh, the lung disease the respiratory distress syndrome usually improves with uh, the supportive ventilation the ventilation the support through the nose or through the tube that i mentioned is to help us manage the baby maintain the oxygen levels in the blood and wash out the carbon dioxide as needed during this period we assess the baby regularly we reduce the support how long the baby needs a support varies from baby to baby some babies come off the support within a few days while some may stay on the support for a longer time when the baby stays on the support for a longer time we have another problem developing it's called chronic lung disease of prematurity which i'll be discussing in the separate video so in this video we discussed about the commonest reason for lung disease in premature babies which is a surfactant deficiency and we discussed briefly about surfactant treatment as well 
I hope uh, this is useful and uh, do share this information with anyone else you feel might benefit. Thank you.